welcome sir and in this tutorial i'm going to explain you java programming using blue j this is the second tutorial in java programming so let's get started for program coding in java we, we will use blue j platform as our ide and in the background we will have java development kit which will help us to execute our programs so if you talk about the sample java program it has structure like this first we'll have public class welcome opening brace public static void main opening brace this public is, a, is the access specifier which shows that this the members of this class will be accessible accessible globally class welcome this class is a keyword and welcome is the name of this class this opening brace shows that we have started this new class public static void main this public is again the access specifier and static is the keyword which shows that this function remains same for all instance of this class void is the return type of this main function and this main function is the main method from where the execution of the program begins next we have system dot out dot print ln welcome to java system dot out dot print ln since java is a case sensitive language so we will have s as capital and rest all remain the same whatever we write inside double quotes is printed as it is in the terminal window now let's move on to the blue platform so you need to open this blue j icon this blue j software if you have not downloaded it you can download it from blue j.org and this i've already explained in the previous tutorial the link is given in the description below so let's open this blue j once we open this blue j we have an interface like this and if you are starting it for the first time then you, you need to create a new project so click on project and then new project inside project it will open a window like this you have to type the name of your project like suppose i'm writing a project name as my programs so this will create a new project and inside this we'll create a new class to create a new class we'll click on this new class button and here we need to type our class name class name we can write like my first program my first program click on ok so this is the class we have created now you need to double click on this once you double click on this you will have a sample program like this select all and delete now we will write our program here first we'll write here public class and then the class name will be written same as we have written here that is my first program then we'll give a curly brace here then public static void main curly brace then we'll write here system dot out dot print ln This is the output statement and this will display the result in the terminal window inside double quotes whatever we write it will come as it is in the terminal window for example write my name is Yitendra. after this we need to give a semicolon for termination then again i'll write system dot out dot print 
print ln here we'll give parenthesis inside parenthesis we'll give double quotes and here i'll write this is my first program and then i need to give a semicolon here and after this i'll give one closing curly brace to close this main function and then one more curly brace to close this main to the closest class now after writing the program we need to compile it once it is compiled that means it is it will show you class compiled and no syntax error that means our program is successfully compiled there is no error now we need to minimize this window and my first program this is our class so right click on this click on void main and this will display our result right click on this main function and this will display the result in the terminal window like my name is Jitain. this is my first program so this is the output of our program this is displayed in the terminal window this window is called the terminal window which displays the output so successfully we have completed our first program next we will move on to the second program for this we will again create click on new class here we'll write class name as sum click on ok double click on this again you'll get a sample program here Control a select delete and now we'll write here public class sum opening curly brace public static void mean these things I've already explained in the previous program so I'll not waste time in this then I'll give curly brace again here i'll use int then i'll use a comma b comma c so this shows that i have declared three variables a b and c of integer type this part is called the variable declaration where i have declared three variables of integer type now i'll write here c equals to a equals to five semicolon b equals to 7 semicolon so in this part i have initialized this variable a with the value 5 and b with the value 7 now i'll write c equals to a plus b this is the expression this is an expression like here i want to add these two numbers i have written here c equals to a plus b that means we will add these two values a and b and we will store it in a variable c now after finding the sum we need to display the result for this we'll write system dot out dot print ln and here inside parenthesis we will write the sum of a and b is and then after this double quotes is closed we need to give a plus sign for a separator and we'll print here c after this we'll give a semicolon enter close curly brace one more close curly brace and this curly brace we have closed this main function with this curly brace we have closed this class after writing this class so after we have finished writing this program we need to compile this for compiling we'll click on compile button and it will say file saved there is no error once we have compiled this program it will say com class compiled no syntax error then we need to run this program for this we'll go to this program right click on this click on void main and it will show the sum of a and b is 12 i have not cleared this so if i run this program it 
it will show the result the sum of a and b is 12. now you can see in the source code i have written here the sum of a and b is c the sum of a and b is this is written within double quotes so it will come as it is and c here the value of c will be printed because it is outside this double quote so the value of c will be printed as you can see in the terminal window the sum of a and b is 12. the sum of a and b is this part was in double quote so it is printed as it is and this is the value of c so we have completed our second program next we will start with a third program so to start a third program we need to click on new class and here i'll write rectangle next we'll de deal with the third program in this first we'll take the class name as rectangle in this program we are going to display the perimeter and area of a rectangle so we'll double click on this delete this i'll start the coding Public class rectangle. Public static. Void main. We'll add the main function. Then we'll write variables. You see, for finding the perimeter area of a rectangle, we need some variables. We'll take in data type and suppose for finding the length we will take a variable l for breadth we will take b for finding the perimeter we will use a variable p and for finding the area we use a variable ar so these are the variables this part is called the variable declaration now we will initialize this variable suppose length is equal to 12 and breadth is equal to 7 okay now we'll let the formula perimeter will be equal to 2 multiplied with it will be l plus b so this is the formula for perimeter of rectangle and area ar will be equal to l multiply b now we need to display the result for this we'll use system dot out dot print ln here we'll write perimeter of rectangle is and here we'll give a separator plus and we'll write p here give a termination semicolon again i don't want to write it again so i'll just copy it and i'll paste it here Now we have copied this so now for this statement i need to change it from perimeter it will be area rectangle is we have to write ar because we have stored the area in ar variable and after we have written this we'll close this main function and then close this class here main block is closed here class is closed after writing this program we need to compile so once we have compiled it will show class compiled no syntax error next we'll go to the project 
right click on this click on void main and your result will be shown perimeter of the rectangle is 38 and area of the rectangle is 84 as you can see in this 12 and 7 12 7 84 so area should be 84 and perimeter will be twice of length plus breadth that is 12 plus 7 it is 19 into 2 38 so perimeter of the rectangle is 38 area of rectangle is 84 so this is the third program we have successfully completed our third program and i hope now you'll be able to understand the program codings